This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 28, and reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance within their fury lay on sore scrolls in the time of discretion they pour out in force and appease the wrath of him that made it. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akarkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf, and the Heavenly Father, the true name is uh, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Baha Shem, in the name of Mashiach Habashai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue. And Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf. And I say Shalom. Happened in the middle of the afternoon. One of the victims was apparently shot outside on a front driveway in clear view of neighbors. Here's the swat. The shooting brought a swarm of police, including officers in an armored truck. The violence here shocking to neighbors. It's crazy. I cannot believe this is happening in our town. Anywhere. Before police arrived, neighbor Patty Estrada looked out her window after hearing two gunshots and couldn't believe what she saw across the street. I seen a man laying in the driveway, another man straddled over him, going through his pockets. Estrada says the apparent shooter then went in the house. Maybe three to five minutes after he went back in the house, I heard one gunshot. It happened around 2 p.m. at this home on Colfax Street in unincorporated Griffith, Indiana, where the Lake County Sheriff's Department says two men were found shot to death and a third critically wounded who later died at a hospital. We went to look out the window where we could actually see the driveway better and there was a man laying there. And then the police come and the helicopters and the SWAT. They just broke open the door. Authorities say they discovered all three victims upon arrival and are investigating whether the incident was a murder-suicide. Oh my gosh, what is going on with this world today? It doesn't matter where you are, who you are, what you have or what you don't have. There's just violence anywhere. Police have not offered any motive. The neighbors we spoke with say they're unaware of any previous problems at the house. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.